Nikki J here welcome back to my channel so today is my wash day and I'm finally washing this temporary hair color out of my hair I picked the color up from pretty fizzy and this is the color blueberry blast now I had this in my hair for four days I could have left it in longer but I was already overdue for a wash when I applied it in so I kind of pushed almost an extra week again so my hair really wanted some TLC so here I'm just I'm wetting the hair as you can see there is no color running out as yet now I'm going in with my ISO plus extra virgin olive oil shampoo and I'm just rubbing that into the hair trying to get into the scalp really trying to work the shampoo into the hair I just looked up my hand to see if it was blue but there wasn't anything See, now that I'm starting to rub the shampoo onto the ends of the hair, you can see that the product is being released from the hair. And now I'm able to just squeeze the hair and it's actually running out. So that's the color running out of my hair. It was a temporary hair color um, that I tried out and I think that the wash process is going pretty well as far as right now. I'm just rinsing out this first set of shampoo that I applied into my hair and again you can see how the color is being released from the hair Again, it was a temporary hair color washing out is just pretty much really easy as you can see I'm going in with a second application I really work and get into the hair a little more as you can see there's still some blue residue coming out of the hair was not totally washed out with the first application of shampoo so the second one is really trying to you know break it up and release it even more now I spoke about this shampoo in one of my previous hair updates and I recently started using it about a couple of months ago and it smells amazing it adds a lot of moisture and shine to the hair it's great slip as well and um, the tangling is great my hair always feels really nice and flowy after using this product in combination with the conditioner as well which I'm gonna be applying into the hair soon following up with this rinse I did go ahead and shampooed my hair one more time just to make sure that I completely got rid of all that color that was in my hair So now I'm adding this ISO Plus Extra Virgin Olive Oil Conditioner into my hair. It's really thick and creamy. It adds a lot of moisture, a lot of slip to the hair. And I'm just massaging that all the way throughout the scalp. Then I just followed up with a little bit of olive oil on top of that. I like to apply olive oil over my conditioner sometimes, you know, to really infuse the moisture into the hair. And then I just cover my hair with a shower cap. And I just let that sit for about 30 minutes to an hour before rinsing it out. So it's been about 45 minutes since my hair has been steaming. And I'm going to rinse the hair out now. I'm using warm water. I don't use hot water on my hair or, you know, something that's a little too steamy because that's really not good for the hair in general. It can really dry the hair out. So you want to use water that's cool or cold enough so that the cuticles itself can really shrink and close up. So I'm just rinsing my hair out. I went in with a little more of the ISO Plus extra virgin olive oil conditioner thoroughly massage it throughout the hair and this conditioner feels so good my hair just feels so soft so silky i'm able to run my wide tooth comb through my hair while i'm wetting it and it just glides right through this conditioner is amazing Last but not least, I'm applying this ORS replenishing conditioner into my hair and I use this as a light protein because it helps to strengthen and thicken up the hair. I'm just massaging it throughout the hair and letting it sit in for a little bit before I wash it out. So here I am washing out the light protein from the hair and protein is great to add to any hair care regimen because it helps to thicken up the hair, strengthen it up and to add texture to the hair as well. So I'm just 
just gonna let my hair dry out underneath this microfiber towel for a bit and then I'm gonna come back and wrap up this whole wash day routine okay so I'm back you guys saw all the steps that I took as far as getting that temporary hair color out of my hair blow dried my hair already because you know you guys have seen me blow dry my hair many a time so I didn't really want to take up too much time going and doing that but let me show you what I apply in my hair to blow dry it and I apply the Lota body strengthening leave-in conditioner I spritz this throughout the hair from the roots all the way out to the tips now this is a tangler and it helps to the tangle the hair it also adds a lot of shine so it strengthens and it helps to prevent breakage and it also acts as a semi heat protectant as well so after i apply this into the hair i just go ahead and i start blow drying the hair and when the hair is about about 80 percent dry i will then apply my garnier fruity sleek and shine this is the anti-frizz serum now this is a heat protectant and this helps to tame any sort of flyaways to the hair you know making the hair nice and smooth and sleek so i go ahead and i continue finish blow drying my hair after applying this into it until my hair is pretty dry and this is where we are right now now as you guys saw the steps as far as washing the color out of my hair you notice when i just wet the hair the color did not start it to bleed off of the hair it wasn't until i applied the shampoo then it really activated the color and started to get it out of the hair as you can see my hair it's, it's really dark right now so all the color is out of the hair no more blue i really like that color though it's a really nice color i think it looks really great on my skin and i really enjoyed it the only bad thing was that when the hair is down you know the color tends to rub off on clothing or my skin or whatever and um you know that was just kind of like the downside and I feel as though I didn't really get to enjoy the color that much. I only left it in for four days anyway. I mean, I wasn't planning on leaving it in for that long because when I applied it into my hair, I was kind of getting close to my wash day. So I was thinking about maybe a day or two, but it looked really nice. So I kind of left it in for a couple more days. So it was just a four day max. I could have left it in a little longer, but you know, I was already kind of like getting a little nervous i really wanted to wash my hair because i was already like almost two weeks in without washing my hair so other than that i really enjoyed the color i think it was nice and i really seemed to do any sort of harm to my hair so now i'm going to put a couple of curls in my hair because what i'm going to do i'm going to wrap my hair i know i have showed you guys that on my channel already but a long time ago you know me honestly i don't wrap my hair every night but whenever I get the chance, I do like to wrap my hair ever so often. Just for the sake of this video, I will be putting a couple of curls in my hair with the curling wand. Um, I don't use that every single wash a day, guys. So don't think that I'm always putting this heated tool in my hair because, you know, I'm kind of anti-heat. The most that I use is my blow dryer. So I already have a video showing how I already go about doing that. So I'm going to put a card up here so you guys can go and check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and curl this hair and... I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Usually this is where I leave you guys in those other videos where I put some curls always in my hair. I might just finger comb this and you know, that's pretty much where we kind of end it off. But I'm taking it a little further today. I'm showing you guys how to go about and actually wrap your hair. Now the curls are basically just to, you know, create a hold to the hair because remember you'll be swirling the hair around the head. So you could wrap straight hair, but you know, you still need a little, a little base for it, you know? So by adding the curls, this is where the whole base comes in and it helps to like actually create that nice definition around the head so the hair can actually stay in place. So right now I have my wide tooth comb, a brush, and I also have some, these are like bobby pins, but the curved ones, this is the Conair curved bobby pins. So if you can see that, it has a nice curve to it. They kind of like, you know, forms to the head. So I have the small ones and I also have some larger ones, not of the same brand actually, but I found these the other day, which are really really good i also have my tail comb I'm not sure if i'll be needing that but we'll see as we go along and i have my grapeseed oil that i'm gonna apply to my hair right now give it a little shine you know a little moisture
light to comb. I'm just gonna comb out the curls a little bit. Okay, so basically at this point, it's either you like to wrap your hair on the left side or the right side, but it's always good to alternate when you're wrapping your hair because you don't want to keep the hair like used to just being like wrapped on one side. You want to actually switch it up, you know, like every other day. A couple of days you wrap on the left side, a couple of days you wrap on the right side. So it's always good to be able to wrap on both sides of the head so the hair can get used to it. So I like to wrap on the right, so I'm going to start with the right side today. So let me just set the hair up. The main objective is just to keep the hair really firm while you are trying to curve it around the side of the head, you know, keep holding it if you have to pin it down to keep it there, go ahead and do so. But the main point is just to see how flat as possible you can get the hair to your head. making small little sections and I wrap each of them across now it all depends on how thick your hair is you know you need to go in sections to you know get a nice wrap to your hair now another good trick to do is try to hold the hair while you're trying to curve it so it doesn't like you know get loose my wrapping technique is not the best but you know it still works for me someone lazy at night you know, I'm not gonna wrap my hair because it's just too much work sometimes you have to come up with your own way as far as getting it and I never saw anyone actually wrapping their hair like this but it, it kind of works out for me guys now you see I basically wrap my hair without putting any number of pins in my hair I only use one pin and I use that actually to the side and that's because of the curls that I had in my hair because that helps to actually form around the head so you really won't have that problem if the hair is pretty much like needle straight so at this point I'm really glad that I didn't have to put a number of pins in my hair it's really not as flat as I wanted it to the head but it still works because right now the hair is up and it's actually protected and the style is going to be maintained when I take it down. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope there was something beneficial that someone can take away from this video and make it their own. So thank you guys so much again for watching. Do comment, like, and subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys' support. Come back again for another video and I'll catch you later. Bye!